Sure. So my name is Aaron, and I'm CEO and co-founder at Avora. And before starting Avora, I was working for a data company called Sojourn and had been in the space for a while, helped them do uh, data partnerships globally, got very familiar with the data space and uh, found that it was really time to uh, kind of uh, bring the next generation of data technology to, to market for, for a number of reasons. So um, along the way, I also met uh, a number of, of really smart people and brought in other co-founders who were has really the background to address this challenge. Uh, my name is Piero Poli. I'm um, an Australian by birth, but an Italian name. Um, my career has been kind of two two main areas. I spent many years at an organisation called Deloitte Digital as part of the uh, Deloitte Consulting Group, helping large organisations implement sophisticated technologies for marketing and advertising. Um, I then jumped over to the um, advertising and media uh, sector in particular, so ad agencies, media agencies, uh, across two of the larger groups. And my role was to establish, set up, and then run and scale um, digital agencies, media agencies, and creative agencies. And that's where I met um, Aaron. We got to work together for several years when I was looking after a, a large client from one of the agencies. And uh, we did a lot of really great stuff in utilizing data to affect better um, audience outcomes, marketing and media outcomes. Yeah, so very quickly, I just say that Evora is a privacy first, kind of um, next generation uh, data marketplace. And uh, what we've really uh, observed is that the industry needed to be a lot more uh, sensitive with how they were managing data. Consumers are very upset with how data is managed in the advertising industry. And so there's increasing pressure to have systems that can control that data in a more careful way so that brands and publishers can maintain the promise they have with consumers to uh, respect and look after the data that they collect for marketing and also to make good use of that data. So uh, based on our experience, we realized that the industry wasn't doing a very good job. And also there was a, a huge moment where the technology is really changing uh, with the removal of third-party cookies by the browsers. So the whole industry is forced to retool and uh, Looking at that, we came up with a solution that we think addresses the issues that we saw through our experience, but also comes at it from a unique perspective, looking at ways to empower non-technical users to really expand and accelerate the usage of data in the advertising space. The way that we're approaching Avora's um, growth is to really attack the biggest problem that the deprecation of the third-party cookie um, creates and that is around building audiences at scale that sit outside your organization so people have organizations have their own first party data lists in whatever format but really the, the heavy lifting with audiences comes from this external data that today is a 200 billion dollar industry so there's 200 billion dollars worth of third party audience consumption that happens every year globally that is the vacuum which is created by third party cookies so Avora is super focused on ensuring that we help to solve that problem at scale and um, across the themes that Aaron picked up on which are um, absolute simplicity so the last thing the uh, an advertiser or a brand needs is another complicated IT solution around advertising and marketing technology that no one uses in their business um, and absolute transparency and control and auditability so that doesn't exist today at scale for brands and advertisers uh, which makes them really really frustrated so I guess with having a combined kind of 30, 40 years in the space. These were the problems that we saw our, um, our clients, our brands, and when we were working in ad and, ad and media agencies facing every single day. So we doubled down on ensuring that before we built anything with Avora, I think we ended up 
speaking, demoing, and kind of even prototyping ideas with about 150 different marketers, advertising agencies, brand people, media people globally to really refine what that use case that drives value around audience building is moving forward. And we're doubling down on that. So there are these tectonic shifts that are happening within data. There are a lot of really annoyed consumers and brands. I think we all know that we wanted to fix that, but to do it in a way that was laser focused on driving real value the day that the platform is launched um, for people. I'm looking at York's experience and the fact that the team has been operators themselves. They understand exactly what we're building and have ideas of how to really create a machine that can drive uh, fast growth and network effects. We saw that particularly exciting. Yeah. I'd add um, on, on the human side, I think Aaron and I in particular have spoken to or pitched to well over 120 or 50 VCs globally. Um, and, and it's incredible. Well, we found it quite incredible about how kind of sterile and non-human the majority of those pitches were. Um, we were seen as, I guess, a number and you could already work out the VC just looking at you thinking, how much money can I make out of these guys? How quickly? Now, of course, that's part of the a VC reality. You know, it's, it's not a charity business. But um, when we, from the very first conversation that we had with York, we just felt that there were other human beings on the other side of the Zoom, right, that were really interested, engaged and curious about what we were doing and approached every conversation with the level of, just um, hum not only humility, but just genuine niceness, right? Um, and it, we never felt that there was kind of antagonism or kind of we were trying to uh, oversell, undersell or whatever to, to York. We just always felt that we were having a, a conversation with a, with a team that was genuinely interested in trying to find out if there was a really valuable partnership there. And we're, we're super happy that, um, that that has ended up being a yes uh, at, at the end of the process. So that, that was quite meaningful for especially Aaron and I that have spent a lot of time on the other side of a Zoom call with a potential VC that um, you know we quickly ascertained that that wasn't a group of people that we probably wanted to work with. 